the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, we got two episodes today. This will be the first one. I uh, got a really good, interesting topic. We're going to break down the Dimitri Andrade versus Liam the Machine Williams fight. It should be a good one. Uh, I have some interesting takes on that that I want to get into. Uh, but before we do get into that, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. We'll be back a little later in the day to talk about Omar Figueroa and Lewis Neary, an exciting 122-pound matchup. Uh, I can't wait to get into that. That's going to be fun. Um, but again, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Also, in the description, I'm going to link uh, the new YouTube page, which is Texas Boxing Scene, completely dedicated to Texas. Please like and subscribe to that as well. Um, also, there's a link for... Um, I'm losing my brain. Uh, Taka, which is the Autism Community in Action. Every... Uh, every all, all the money we make with the Texas Boxing Scene is going to Taka. Um it's a charity that's near and dear to our heart. It is National Autism Month, so I wanted to launch it and do it there. Um, please like, uh, please share the link. Um, if you can, please donate. It's, it's a very worthwhile cause. Uh, but let's get into today's show. As you can see, it's Demetrius Andre and Liam Williams. Finally, we, we are here. Uh, we've been into this. And... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. I want to get into this a little bit uh, because this is a good fight. Um, this is really a good fight. Um, traditional logic tells me that Demetrius Andre is the better fighter. He's the more skilled fighter. He's been in tougher, even though he hasn't been in incredibly tough. you got Mauro Rosian, Willie Nelson, uh, Brian Rose, um, you know, Saliski, Luke Keeler. I mean, they're not world beaters, but they're good fighters. He's been in more good fighters than Liam Williams. He's the more skilled boxer for sure. Um, you know, he can do more things. His jab is, is exceptionally well. His speed, reflex, his defense is all good. Um, so traditional logic tells me that Andre should win this fight. Although um, Liam Williams has been on an absolute tear um, knocking at everyone since he lost the back-to-back -back fights to Beefy Smith. He's won off about five or six not, six fights in a row, including wins over Mark Heffron and Almontes Fox, and he got rid of Fox uh, quickly in five rounds. And I'm going to pay attention to close to that one because Fox is a long, kind of rangy guy who also fought Andre. I think that's a good fight. It's a common opponent. Um, it's a good fight to keep your eye on. Um... Andre won every round, couldn't get him out, went the distance with him. Williams blew him out and got him in five rounds, hurt him real bad. Uh, Williams has a chance in this fight. He does. And the chance that he has is with the right hand. He's got to fight Fox similarly to the way that he fought Andre, but he's got to do it at a high level because Andre's much better than Fox, which you saw when Andre um, completely outmanned him. He's got to get in. He's going to lose rounds. He's not going to win rounds, especially early. Andre's a quick starter, and then he kind of falls asleep behind the wheel. So I would say, and Williams, I'm not picking Williams. I'm picking Andre to win a decision. But there's going to be scary moments in it. And, and, and my point is, if Williams can capitalize on the scary moments, he can win this fight. Um, he's got it. He, he throws this really good chopping right hand. Uh, he's he's pretty basic. I'm not mean that in a bad way, right? He's basic. It's jab, jab, right hand. He he clubs the right hand. He throws it from a, a litany of angles. The right hand is his key, and against a southpaw, it's critical. He's got to have success all day with that right hand. I'd like to see him try to get to Andre's body, um, but when he gets it, he's got to make him pay. Um, he's gonna have to eat some shots. He's gonna you know have to eat some jabs uh, and some straight lefts. But that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, he's got to follow in jab, jab, and then uh, put the right hand behind it. You know, he throws a hook a little bit. He doesn't go down to the body much. If he wants to win this fight, he's got to go down to the body. That's got to be something that they concentrate and focus on. It's got to be an element of his game. 
Um, it, I mean, it's that simple. It's, it's got to be. It's got to be natural for him. It's got to be. Uh, it, he's got to go to the body. He's got to slow him down. He's got to take his legs away because he's gonna have to stop him late. I think he can stop. I don't. I'm not picking him to. But there's a, his path to victory is stopping him late and clubbing him with the right hand. He's got power. He's been knocking everyone out. Um, I, I think the Liam Smith fights were a wake up call to him. I think they were a learning lesson. Smith is a world class fighter, um, and I think they taught him a. Williams learned a lot from that. They taught him a lesson, and he knows what he has to. He has to get on the inside. He has to stay on the inside, and he's to make Andre pay because he's not good enough to win six, seven rounds of. Them. So he's gonna have to get him out. He's gonna have to hurt him. He's gonna have to get him out. And like I said, Andre falls asleep behind the wheel. I expect Andre to be up four rounds into this fight. I expect Andre to be up on points, probably four nothing. But he's got to. It's got to be the way Williams is losing the battle, but winning the war. Slowing him down. He's got to get his timing down, and he's got to land right hands. And when he does, he's got to follow up, and make him pay. He can't be one and done on the inside. He's got to land combinations on the inside, hit him to the body, slow him down. He's gonna to have to make it a little bit of a dog fight. I'm not saying be dirty, but hit him, you know, make it make it a scrap. Make him make him uncomfortable. That's what I'm saying. Make Andre uncomfortable. If he does that, he can win this fight. Now, look, Andre's a more skilled fighter. He's a more polished fighter. He's got better skills, better athleticism, better reflexes. Um, he should win this fight. And I'm picking Andre. My official prediction is Andre on points. But what I'm saying is that William has a chance. And Andre falls asleep behind the wheel. So when Andre does fall asleep behind the wheel, he's got to hit it out of the park. To use a baseball analogy, he can't slap a single. He's got to hit it out of the park. Um, because he's not, he's not good enough to put a bunch of hits together, right? This is new era baseball with him. You know, he's not going to move guys around the bases. He's got to hit a home run. He can. He's got the power to do it. Uh, but he's got to set it up. Early, slowing him down, going to the body, and he's got to get his timing down and b deliver the right hand. And then follow up and not let him off the hook. Uh, if he does those things, he can win this fight. Um, I'm not picking that, though. But it may be if, if you're a gambler and the odds are looking good for Williams as uh, you know mid-round, late-round knockout, you might want to take it. Williams is a dog, and he probably won't win, but he's got a real chance of winning. He's got a legitimate, I would say... If they fought three times, he he knocks him out. One of them is this one fight, you know, you know, is it that one out of three? This one, who knows? He could win this fight though. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. 3D boxing, 3D boxing blog. Quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Two episodes a day, eight to ten minutes. We will be back later today with Figueroa versus Neri. A uh, kind of a preview on that too, because that's going to be a barn burner. Please also, I'm going to put a link into Texas Boxing Scene, which is the new, um, completely Texas Boxing dedicated website, uh, YouTube page, YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to that. Also, the link to Taka, uh, Autism Community in Action. Uh, please share that link if you can. Please donate to it. Um, it is April 16th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in from Texas. To the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.